Mr. Minister, I ask you to comment on the ultimatum from the European Commission that's been given to Greece, saying it has three months to get better control of its borders, otherwise it will be excluded from Schengen. Such an option does not exist according to the whole legal context of the Schengen Treaty. This evaluation was done by the Commission around the 10th and the 12th of November. The situation in the islands concerned is not the same today. It's completely different, and it's going to be even more different in two weeks' time. Yes, but many member states are considering that Greece has not been responsible in protecting the EU's external borders. Officially, nobody has said so, no government in any European institution. Officially, what we say is that it's only the sea border with only six miles distance between Greece and Turkey. What Greece is saying is that it protects its borders along with the EU body Frontex. It cannot abuse international treaties and all the moral core and legal civilization of the EU to push back the boats, which are coming full of refugees, and drown them. When they're telling you that we don't protect the sea borders sufficiently, the ones saying that have to explain to us exactly what's not being done correctly and what we should do. But nobody is being specific. There's also the issue of registration. You're accused of not effectively registering the refugees and migrants. Registration is of course an issue. It's being improved all the time and it will reach the levels that we all want. Europe, like Greece, was enormously surprised by the strength and volume of the refugee wave. The most ambitious forecasts expected an increase of 300% last year. We saw an increase of 1,000%. And a last question. Greece is also having tough times as it has a bailout program to implement. Do you see these two issues on the same table? I mean... Would you give the EU something that it wants in order to get some better terms on debt or the terms of the program? When we're in a fiscal suffocation and under fiscal monitoring, when our obligations under the bailout don't allow us to hire people so that we can technically manage the refugee crisis, this is a matter to discuss. But there's no exchange for Greece to become a store cupboard of people so our debt can be dealt with with more sympathy. That's immoral, and I don't think any European institution has ever thought of it so far.